I'm on the Edgy Blogger World calendar now. You'll notice that the Air Set only has a few things available. It has a calendar, a mobile feature, and a main feature. Now I can click and add an event from the main page, but I actually want to go to the full calendar. When I look at the monthly calendar, it shows that there are a few things available here. I can look at an event list, I can look at it weekly, or by day. I'm actually going to click on the 23rd to add a new event and put my information. Notice I'm putting this in in my time, but when you log in, it will convert it to your time automatically. You need to leave it in local time. If you put it in your time zone, then you may have issues. So just leave it in local time and it'll default to the person's local time. Now if I want to invite people, I can say RSVP and I can also check all of the names. Now when I checked my name, it says why because I'm actually logged in as me. These people are invited and when they RSVP, it will turn into a green Y if they're coming and a red X if they're not. I can also set reminders. These are very useful. I can set it for one, one day prior, weeks prior, uh, and then I'm going to add a second reminder that is going to be 10 minutes ahead of the event. And this will remind me, I actually use AirSet for my family. It'll actually send me a text message uh, to remind me uh, since I have set that up. And in my notes, I'm going to say, uh, a message. So I've typed in information. If I want to add a personal reminder that's separate from everyone else's, uh, I can actually add a reminder as well. And I often do that for myself. Okay, at the bottom you'll see that it says save. And it asks me if I want to notify the participants about changes in this event. I'm going to say yes. Okay, and I asked it to send me a copy. Now this appears on the event. Now let me show you one more useful feature. We actually have the Women of Web 2 set up. And we, our goal is to make it so that the many events that are going on will actually show up on one calendar. So I'm going to click on WOW 2. This is the weekly webcast that some friends and I co-host um, over at the EdTech Talk channel. So I'm going to go in to this event. That I'm, so I'm going to go into this event that we've set up for every Tuesday. And I'm going to view this series. Once I've created this, I can actually come in here and click share. And I can put which groups should display this series of events. It's already added to WOW, but I want to make sure that these events and the speakers show up in EduBlogger world. And we encourage everyone who has an event that is available for free for the entire edgy blogging community to please add this. So it needs to be an event that is free, that is educational value. Um, make sure that it's not just a marketing event. It needs to be a legitimate um, event. And we reserve the right to remove these from the calendar as well. So we're going to scroll down here and going to click save. And I'm not going to notify because these have, people have already been notified about these events. And there we go. Now, if you look at the Edgy Blogger World calendar, you'll see that WOW 2 on EdTech Talk appears. And again, everyone is invited. This is not an exclusive thing. And if you notice, if you go to the Edgy Blogger World now, if you go to the Edgy Blogger World Ning, you'll see that at the bottom of the page that we have access to an iCal calendar on the left. And you can subscribe to all of the events that will end up on the EduBlogger World calendar. The goal is to make it so that when someone comes into the edu blogosphere, or maybe they're not a blogger, but they really want to learn uh, in all of these new formats, that they can come in and know what is going on without having to kind of uh, do that through, through their contacts. So you can see that immediately at the bottom, uh, Darren has added a widget to our page, and it immediately shows 
um, what is going on. And once again, we encourage you to add your information there as well. It's just done a lot easier the way that I showed you. Um, it's, uh, it's done a lot easier if you set up your own tab in AirSet for your own event um, and then specify for it to go to EduBlogger World. That way, only people who are part of your event tab can edit. Uh, if you don't want the whole educational community uh, and global greeters to edit it, and in this case, the only people who should be able to edit these are Cheryl, Jennifer, Sharon, and myself, uh, and no one else. So that is why I set up a separate tab. Now, if you have any more questions or questions about AirSet in general, uh, we've had a few people who have Macs who say that they have issues on AirSet, and um, we would love to troubleshoot those um, if you have any problems. Just email me at coolcatteacher at gmail.com, and we'd love to help you.